It is Friday, family, and this is Pastor Flowers here at Transformation Community Church. And again, this is Friday Drill with Pastor Flowers. And the word that I want to share with you all on today comes out of Matthew 24 and 12. And the title of this is Wickedness. Again, the title is Wickedness. And this is what the word says. Because of the increase of wickedness, the love of most will grow cold. Amen and hallelujah. Family, as time passes, this passage becomes more and more frightening. Perhaps every generation feels that the signs of the end times are increasing. Perhaps the signs are increasing. Certainly the generations that are still living have seen plenty of earthquakes. They've seen plenty of famines and they've seen plenty of wars. Wouldn't you agree? And certainly today uh, we see an increase in wickedness, at least in some places, as evidenced by these mass murders that we see across the, the country and across the world. And also just right here in, in the United States, when we look at the increased rate of inner city gun violence. Amen and hallelujah. So here's the thing. This particular wickedness Jesus warns about in verse 12 could be called lawlessness. It goes beyond refusing God's uh, way to live. And it basically refuses to live according to anyone's rules. You just out here doing your own thing, just wilding out. And it's all about you. And what you want to do is what you want to do. Amen and hallelujah. So is the attitude that believes it's only illegal if I get caught. The problem with this wickedness, though, according to Jesus, is that it works against love. And I want to say that again. The problem with this wickedness, according to Jesus, is that it works against love. It holds no commitment to another and has no willingness to, to sacrifice for anyone. In the end times, most people will only care about themselves and most people's love will grow cold. Taken to the extreme family, my brothers and sisters, that is a bone chilling thought. Wouldn't you agree? It would be like a survival of the fittest. It's, it's a whoever, you know, there was a song that says only the strong survive. It would be like survival of the fittest out here. And, and that being said, you know, the people that are going to win are those that are, are the most violent and the most crafty. And that's not what we want. Amen. And hallelujah. So here's my plea. Uh, before we get to that point, before things get that bad, my plea is that Christ returns before we become so lawless. Amen. And hallelujah. Help me some body family. Let us pray. Spirit of Jesus, guide our lives to save us from lawlessness. Fill us with your love and wisdom. And it's in Jesus' mighty name that we pray. Amen. 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 And hallelujah. Glory to God. So family, until this time next week, I want you to know that I love you. I love you from the bottom of my heart. And I really need for you to know and feel that God loves you so, so, so much more. So again, until this time next week, Friday, have a most favored weekend.